If you hate litter, and who doesn't, you're not alone. In fact, the people of Britain ranked the appearance of their local area as more important than global warming or traffic congestion and even the level of service they get in the NHS. Yes, the litter epidemic costs hundreds of millions to clean up and is on the rise. Phil Lavelle is in Colchester for us this morning. Phil, what's the situation there? Yeah, morning, you two. Take a look at this, this absolutely huge pile of litter. Now, although it's all in bags, this isn't the kind of rubbish that's been picked up from people's homes from their wheelie bins. This is the litter that was collected from the streets, things like drinks cans, bottles, cigarette boxes, fast food wrappers as well. So this, just the street of Colchester over the course of five days. Could you imagine how big this would be if it was the entire country's worth? What a load of rubbish. This is just five days' worth of litter cleaned up from Colchester streets. 11 and a half tonnes swept up, bagged up, and the cost of cleaning is up too. In fact, the price has shot up by £100 million in the last year alone, meaning the total being spent in England is £858 million. But that is not representative of the rest of Britain. For example, Scotland's bill was around £100 million, which is roughly the same as it was before. And in Wales, they're actually spending less because there is less litter to pick up. The question is, why is the problem so much worse in England? The answer? Apparently, it's down to rising costs and changing habits, and the smokers among us particularly singled out. We did a survey a year after the smoking ban came in, and the amount of smoking-related litter on our streets had, had doubled, and it, you will now find it on, on three-quarters of the streets across England. You also find uh, fast food litter on nearly a quarter of those streets, so it's, it's a big issue. You may struggle to find litter on Colchester's streets, though. Here, they are keen on keeping clean. And the sweepers are out several times a day. Workers like Alan, who sometimes feel they are fighting a losing battle. Our so-called 24-hour drinking culture now giving people like him a 24-hour problem. I'm not 100% sure where people appreciate the, A, the job we do and how, hard, how really difficult it is. Summertime, you've got burger cartons, you've got, you name it, you've got it. You've got um, smashed glass everywhere. Um, they come in and out. Um, bars with bottles, glasses, they end up all shattered everywhere. And it's, it's a difficult thing to get that sort of stuff up. Keep Britain Tidy says we are more concerned about litter than petrol prices and global warming and our worries about it are on a par with terrorism. A statement you may or may not agree with, though it is a fact that keeping part of Britain Tidy at least is costing more. So a pretty astonishing claim there from Keep Britain Tidy, but let's find out more from Kevin Golding-Williams who's come down uh, here this morning. So, Kevin, are you seriously telling us people are just as concerned about litter as they are terrorism? Because it sounds like a bit of a wild claim. Oh, yeah, entirely. I mean, it costs us as a country £858 million to clean up litter every single day from our streets. And we know that people are concerned about it, and certainly it can prevent people wandering around. It worries about safety. People are really concerned about littering here. But surely people are more concerned about terrorists, about bombs going off, than they are about picking up a few cigarette butts from the floor. Well, when you look at the waste composition, the most largest uh, piece of litter is smoking-related litter, cigarettes. Uh, it is a major problem for us. And actually, the majority of people feel guilty around it. More people feel guilty about littering than driving at 90 miles an hour down a motorway. And what we're calling for people to today is stop littering uh, and also actually go out and pick up litter, take responsibility for littering in your area. If just one single person every day picks up one piece of litter, we could really clean up this country. Tell us about the cost because people, um, people would assume that the cost would be lower because a lot of these services are contracted out, they're put up for tender and uh, we've all had to tighten our belts recently. So why has the price gone up? Yeah, certainly. I mean, the price is in line with sort of increases in, in, in the waste industry in general. Um, and certainly it's something that if we all take responsibility, if people stop littering, and if everyone could just pick up one piece of litter, if everyone today pick, picked up one piece of litter, that would be fantastic. Great, Kevin, thank you very much. So there you heard it. So although it's, um, street cleaners may help, they are not a part of the solution, not necessarily they are the solution, because ultimately it's all down to changing people's attitudes, according to the experts. Yes, Phil, thanks very much. It's interesting, isn't it? What, what do you do if you see someone dropping litter? You know, on the I face. I never say anything. You never say I anything. I think That's... something. I never say anything. You don't want to get into a confrontation. If somebody's the sort of person who's going to drop litter, then they're, they're not going to be the sort of person who's Take going to kindly. go, oh, sorry, and pick it up again. Maybe therein lies the problem, you see. It's that, you know, the fact that people aren't prepared to say so for fear of what happens next. Anyway, let us know your thoughts this morning. What do you do if you see someone littering and how mm. seriously take the issue? Do let us know your thoughts this morning. And why is it getting so